a very good afternoon to one and all. I am Dr. Pallavi Patil from Modern College of Pharmacy, Negri, Pune. I am working as an assistant professor in uh, pharmaceutical chemistry department. Today, I am taking you one of a good topic of organic chemistry first year division, and uh, that is a ester. So the ester, now what is the ester? It's the chemical compound derived, derived from the acids from organic or inorganic compounds. And at least having a OH group attached, which is replaced by the O only from the alkyl group, that is alkoxy. This is a structure. Now in this, there is alkyl, two different type of attachment. Or the same attachment, but the two oxygen is attached to the carbon. We call it as ester. Now, the ester name of the ester is from the alkyl group attached to the oxygen is a first name. First name of the uh, esters, but the secondary suffix for we call it as the parent acids. We call esteric acid or AT that is for example methyl methoxate methanoid methyl methanoid this is the structure of methyl methanoid and this is the structure of ethyl ethanoid so these are the structure of the ethyl ethanoid or methyl methanoid this is a ethyl propanoid structure ethyl propanate structure and the propanate is the this one the red is indicated the suffix of the structure prefix of the structures and the blue is also indicated the suffix or sometimes a prefix of the sub, um, compound which is depend on the structure where it is a present is the red where it is a present is the blue so these are the structures we call c as the methyl is methyl then butanoid this is the structure of the butanoid. Okay, so in this way, this is a very simple form of the uh, propyl. This is the propyl structure, ethanoid, ethanoid. This is a two carbon attached. These are the simple examples of the esters. Now, what is the physical properties of this ester? The ester has state is a simple, very simple, uh, colorless liquid, which is having a very low density. Just like a, a little bit of the water, like the boiling point is very low. The order is a sweet, fruity smell or pungent smell. We can't tolerate more than long time. And um, the solubility is definitely soluble, some slightly in the water, but it's very good solubles in the organic compounds, organic solvents. Now, what is the type of the uh, reactions we will see to synthesize the esters. If the acid is reacted with the alcohol, the ester gets synthesized. In the last lectures of the alcohol, we will see how the alcohol, by using the alcohol, we are synthesized the ester. So with the using of the acid and alcohol, the one molecule of the water gets removed. Benzoic acid with the ethanol formation of the ethyl benzoate with the one water molecule get released from this reaction. The reaction is so simple and this one molecule of the water get released. Now the reactions of the esters are the different types. Some the esterified trans esterification to the other ester and there are a certain esters which may be undergo the hydrolysis to form the carboxylic acid and alcohol. The some esters are undergoes the neutro, neutrophilic substitution, and some esters are react with the ammonia to give 
a mice. Now, these are the acid catalyzed trans esterification mechanism. In this esters, you feel that the nitrogen, sorry, oxygen is containing the lone pair of electron. And in this electron, if you are adding the alcohol here with the any alkyl attachment, so the neutrophilic reaction gets started. Now, the neutrophilic reactions, we have to donate the lone pair of electron to form the chemical reactions in which the substitutions get added in that. So these reactions, you feel that this lone pair of electron is shifted to here with the attachment of the negative pair and this lone pair of electron get here. So you get it to the directly to this. By addition of the again alcohol, here the addition of neutrophily by the alcoholic compound with the repetitions of alcohol get added with the same type of mechanical happens. So in this, the proton get transferred. Now this proton get transferred to this, then this. And if you feel that with the addition of this, these attachment here, the positive proton get transferred. Now from this, it again get to the here. You feel that the attachment of the hydrogen with the oxygen by negative lone pair of electron heavy and donating to this. So proton get again transferred to the hydrogen. Now this hydrogen, it get the elimination of we called as a one ROH group. Okay, so here this get released from this site. So the blue color get indicated the releasing elimination of this. You noted that this is the releasing site of the new. The students are requested to just use a certain colors at your notebook for identification for more understanding. But in the exam, you are not able to use your colorful pens because the red color is used for the shaking. The green color is used for the moderation. So you are not allowed to use uh, any color paint in your exam. So in this way, there is a removal of one primary alcohol from the proton transferring chain. So at the end, the ester is formed. Now this ester is somehow different from the this ester because the transformation of the proton gate batch to batch and one handed to other handed, we use a trans esterification mechanism by adding acid as a catalyst. And this is the new formation of the ester. Now the hydrolysis under the acid conditions. If the ester is added, if the ester gate hydrolyzed with the alkaline, that is NaOH, formation of the car carboxylate ion. These are the ion formations where the negative is happening. Now these are is having the alcohol synthesized by using the OH. For example, we are taking the example ethyl acetate is reacted with the sodium hydroxide formation of the sodium acetate with the aqueous stage and Ethanol is get synthesized. This is a very simple form. If you have the question, we become synthesize the alcohol by using the ester. So hydrolysis with the basic condition that is NaOH is a convenient, but it is in the aqueous medium. Now there are the certain uh, summary of the important uh, ester, which is synthesize a different type of alcohol, primary, tertiary, than aldehyde as well as amides. Now these esters when reacted with the grignate reagents that is RMG, magnesium and bromide. So the synthesis of this tertiary alcohol and when is reacted with the diisobutyl aluminium hydrate. Hydrate. So the synthesis of the aldehyde, but these reactions require a certain different condition that is minus 78 degrees Celsius to completion. And this is being reacted with the lithium aluminium hydrate. 
So the primary alcohol get easily synthesized, and when is the get reacted with the amines, the formation of the amides. That is, we have also seen in the amine topic. So these are the important reactions. The question may be come for the ten marks. Question may be come for the five marks, and you have to elaborate the reactions of synthesis of the different compound by using ester or reactions of ester. Now, the ethyl acetate in this chapter, they are highlighted the ethyl acetate or wax compound for the uses and the properties. So I just feel that there's some importance. It is a neutral, non-toxic. Liquid, which is insoluble, slightly soluble, and uh, if it is not in the pure mode, it is insoluble in the water. But it is easily soluble in the organic solvents. The pungent and sweetish, uh, very uh, smelly uh, order of this, and the colorless compound. The boiling point is the seven to seven, and low density compound. This compound is very useful in the industrial level or artificially fruit flavoring agents for preparations. And in these solvents, most of the very chromatographic techniques, HPLC, HPTLC, they are using the ethyl acetate as a mobile phase in the HPTLC chromatography. Now to waxes. Now the waxes are the esters, but having a long chain of the fatty acids, long chain of monohydric. Alcohol having almost 16 to 24 carbon atoms. Now this is derived from the beans, bees, and beeswax and uh, myrrhine palmitate and carnauba wax is derived from carnauba trees. So these are the waxes importance and how it is derived and uh, they are the basic. Uh, naming or you call that the definition. These vaccines are used in the different type of industry. Uh, certain artificial fibric use, certain cloths use, and certain um, pharmaceutical compounds for synthesize and manufacturing a different type of the derivative products. These vaccines are used in the pharma and the pharma medicines also. We are using these vaccines. Thank you very much for listening me very carefully and patiently, and give your valuable time. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can add a chat box as your questions. I will definitely reply as soon as possible. Once I upload this video to the YouTube, I will definitely provide you the link or my email address so you can contact through this, and I will definitely fulfill your. Uh, uh, doubts, your difficulties, and um, get you your um, answers with the right mode. Thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, have a good day. Stay at home. Stay safe. Thank you.